Hello, today I will show you how to fix minor cracks on our tables. We're going to fix them with our epoxy resin. As you can see here, uh, with epoxy resin, um, using the epoxy of APC or purpose coatings. They, you can uh, buy, buy them on their website, allpurposecoatings.com.au the epoxy resin, you, it has two parts, the part A and part B, the hardener. As you can see the instruction on their label, uh, you want to mix two, part, two parts A of A and mix with one part of B. Uh, together with that, we will need a pigment that will make the color of the resin. Uh, here we use the black color eat the pigment a bit and then you will need the dark tape to uh, tape the crack when we pour the epoxy inside the crack and then you will need some small uh, small cups and a stick to mix the epoxy that's it yep you can see the crack here at the end of the table the crack runs through from the top side of the table run to the side to the end and then run to the bottom side of the table we're going to use duct tape to tape the crack this is the top side of the table we're going to need this long of the duct tape make sure that the tape can cover all the crack all the top side and the edge of the table to the end Then we flip the table up. As you can see here, after we put the duct tape in, the duct tape cover all the crack from the top side, and this is the bottom side. And you can see a small crack still here. Then we're gonna pour the epoxy resin inside this crack okay now we're gonna mix the epoxy resin we gonna use two of part a we need this one for measurement we pour it to that part yep Right here. In the second part. And then one part of part B. Don't forget that we need some pigment to make the color of the resin. With the pigment, you need a small amount of it because it's very dark. And just one or two drops of it should be okay enough for making the color of the resin.
mix it. After we mix the resin with the pigment ready, we got a mixture here. We gonna pour it into the crack slowly one by one. Let the resin come inside the crack. You will see the resin go into the crack and then we fill it, fill it again and again until the crack is full of resin. The crack is full of resin. We use a cloth, we wipe it to make it a bit clean here. Make it clean and then we leave it for 8 to 10 hours to be fully dry and then we flip it back again and we, you can use it as normal.